Let me take you to the New Testament. There is an account of a lady in Matthew chapter 9 from 20. This lady had an issue of blood. And according to the Bible scholars, they even say a fountain. Which means her condition was actually bad. Very bad. And the Bible tells us that for 12 years, she consulted. In other words, she was moving from one hospital to the other. From one consultant to another. From one specialist to another. And you can imagine, in those times, they considered her unclean. Legally unclean. A few years ago, one of my sisters suffered from cancer. And it reminded me of this lady who had a of blood. It was a time when she consulted this doctor, another doctor, moved from one country to another, seeking a proper, proper healing. And the Bible tells us that this lady had spent everything she had, which means she, if she had a house, she had to sell the house to pay medical bills. You know how expensive medical bills are, isn't it? She paid, she sold everything that she had just to have a doctor who can say, there is hope for you. That was her beat. Even my sister had that situation, amen? Where she consulted this doctor and the other doctor. We thank God for doctors, amen? But we know that only God is our healer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can tell you that she overcame cancer. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. In the same way, that this woman who was going through this pit of the issue of blood, labored and clean in society, when she heard that Jesus was coming by, within her body something started moving. Amen? Faith started developing because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. She had heard that there was Jesus who was able to perform miracles. Jesus who, who was able to, to, to raise the dead like Lazarus. Her hope, her faith was building. Hallelujah. She said, today is my day. And we are told that it was really crowded to a point where even Jesus was being crushed. Hallelujah. But she had hope that today I'm finding my healing. Today I'm going home completely healed. And there she was. She crawled. She tried her way through until she had an opportunity to touch the hem of his garments. This morning, whatever situation, whatever pit you are in, touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Touch the hem of his garment. He is our hope. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. Amen. So your problem, only Jesus can solve it. As she touched the hem of his garment, something happened. Hallelujah. The Bible says that virtue came out of Jesus. This morning, may Jesus faith you come out of him and heal whatever situation that you are in, in Jesus' name. And Jesus turned because he felt something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He felt something. Power came out of him. May that power that healed that woman deliver your situation in the mighty name of Jesus. May every fountain of death be cancelled in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
May every obstacle be paralyzed in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Then Jesus said, somebody touched me. Hallelujah. And the disciples said, Jesus must be great. There are a lot of people here. How can he say somebody touched me when he's being squashed? But Jesus knew there was somebody who received a healing. Then when he asked this woman, because something had happened, she had to come forward and say, it was me. May it be you who say, I've received my blessing this morning. May it be you who say, I've received my promotion this morning. May it be you who say, I've received my prosperity. May it be you who say, I've received my breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Then Jesus said, your faith has healed you. May your faith heal every situation in your life in Jesus mighty name. Ladies and gentlemen, most of the times we are seeking things in the wrong place. Amen. This woman knew exactly where to go. She knew that at the mention of the name of Jesus, everything could work. Hallelujah. Who are you running to when you are faced with a challenge? What pit are you in that you think you can solve on your own. That's why people these days, and the Bible is clear that these are the last days. Hallelujah. In these days, we need to be grounded in the word of God because there are a lot of people who are coming to deceive. And if you are somebody without the word, you will be moving from one place to another seeking answers in wrong places. This, these days, I really appreciate the fivefold ministry. There is the apostle, there is the prophet, there is the evangelist, there is the pastor, there is the teacher. But you find that the church seems to have neglected the other offices, the other fivefold ministry, and we are concentrating on one. And the devil knows how to attack the church. Because everyone is rushing in the prophetic ministry. And one thing I can tell you is that even sorcerers, even astronomers can prophesy. They can see the future. The devil gives them the power. I'm not saying prophecy is wrong. But it has to be supported by the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Don't just run from one prophet to another. Seeking answers. The answers are here. Yeah. This is God's voice. Oh, yeah. This is God's word. Hallelujah. Yeah. We thank God for prophets. Amen. But in these times, I pray that God can give you a spirit of discernment so that you can know who is saying the truth about Jesus and who is the one who are in, in sheep's skin, but they are wolves. May the truth set you free. Hallelujah. May the truth set you free. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. That was her beat. 